Welcome to Castle Hill this week. I'd like to share with you just a, a couple of short stories and uh, a reflection uh, on uh, a passage that was found. A woman went to St Francis of Assisi and asked what she had to do to be forgiven for her gossiping. Francis told her to take feathers and place one at the doorstep of everyone she had spoken ill of in the town. She did so and she returned to Francis. Francis told her to then go and retrieve all the feathers. When she attempted to do so, they were all gone. By that time, the feathers were scattered all around the town. Once again, she returned to St Francis and told him about the feathers. He said to her, you're sorry for what you've done wrong. That's good. But the damage of your words is done and cannot be taken back. And there's a story told about the great writer and psychiatrist, Viktor Frankl. He'd given a lecture in Melbourne and he was given a boomerang as a gift. He commented that the boomerang reminded him of our human life. People assume that the function of the boomerang is to return to the thrower, he said. But it's the real function of the boomerang to hit the target and to return to the thrower only if it misses the target. And the same is true of life. We return to ourselves to become self-absorbed and preoccupied only if we have failed to find meaning in life. The meaning of life is to move out beyond ourselves, beyond our own meaning, and so find meaning. If we live only for ourselves, spending money only on ourselves, squandering our time, our strength only on ourselves, focusing chiefly on ourselves. Life boomerangs and comes back to us with only ourselves to show for it. You may have <clears throat> come across one of the various versions of what are called the Alternative Commandments, but I would like to share with you uh, one which was found on the wall of the children's home that Mother Teresa ran in Kolkata. And they go like this. People are often unreasonable, irrational and self-centred. Forgive them anyway. If you're kind, people may accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you're successful, you'll win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. Succeed anyway. If you're honest and sincere, people may deceive you. Be honest and sincere anyway. What you spend years creating, others could destroy overnight create anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous, but be happy anyway. The good you do today will often be forgotten. Do good anyway. Give the best you have, and it will never be enough. Give your best anyway. In the final anal analysis, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. The kingdom of love is coming because somewhere someone is kind when others are unkind. Somewhere someone shares with another a need. Somewhere someone refuses to hate whilst others hate. Somewhere someone is patient and waits in love. 
somewhere someone returns good for evil, somewhere someone serves another in love, somewhere someone is calm in a storm, somewhere someone is trying to love everyone. Is that someone you? This week, stay safe in all of the changes that are taking place. Take care of yourself and others. May God bless you as you go in peace.